Spoken English phrases about the weather from EspressoEnglish.net. You probably know the basic phrases for talking about the weather, like "It's sunny" and "It's raining." In this lesson, you'll learn 14 more advanced phrases for talking about the weather in English. Number one, what's the forecast like for tomorrow? Use this phrase to ask how the weather will be in the future, usually when the conversation is already about the weather. If you want to start a conversation with this phrase, you can modify it. And say, "Do you know the weather forecast for tomorrow?" The word "forecast" means prediction. Number two, looks like we're in for a hot one. They're predicting record highs this week. The first part of this phrase means we're probably going to have hot weather, and the second part refers to the forecast. They are predicting. Which says the temperatures will be so high they could set a record. Number three, it sure is a scorcher today. A scorcher is an extremely hot day. You can use this phrase to make small talk. The response is "sure is" or "I'll say." Both of these phrases mean you are agreeing with the person. Number four, there isn't a cloud in the sky. This is a typical way to describe a sunny day when the sky is clear, with no clouds. Number five, we're having quite a heat wave. A heat wave is many consecutive days of very hot weather. Here are a couple of possible responses to this phrase. That's for sure, and the humidity makes it even worse. You can also say, "You're telling me, I'm taking my kids to the pool this afternoon." Number six, it's overcast right now, but it should clear up by the afternoon. The word "overcast" means that clouds are completely covering the sky, and it looks like it might rain. Clear up in this context means the clouds will go away and the sky will be clear. Number seven, the wind's picking up. In this case, picking up means the wind is becoming stronger. This often happens before rain or a thunderstorm. Number eight, it's just drizzling. Drizzling means raining very lightly. Number nine, I'm soaking wet. I got caught in a downpour. Soaking wet means completely wet, and a downpour is heavy, intense rain that often begins suddenly. A few more ways to describe heavy rain are: it's pouring, it's really coming down. It's raining cats and dogs. Number ten, take a jacket. It's a bit chilly out there. The word chilly means slightly cold. It means you probably need a light jacket or a sweater. Number eleven, I think the sun's trying to come out. You can say this when it's mostly cloudy. But you can see a little bit of the sun, and it might clear up. Number twelve. I hope this rain lets up soon. Use this phrase when it's raining, and you want the rain to stop. In this case, "let up" means slow down or stop. Number thirteen. It's freezing out there. Make sure to bundle up. Freezing in this context means extremely cold, and bundle up means to wear winter clothes to protect you from the cold. In the picture, the girl is bundled up. Number fourteen. It might drop below freezing tonight. 
In this context, freezing refers to the temperature at which water becomes ice. That's zero degrees Celsius or thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. Drop below means the temperature might get colder than zero degrees Celsius or thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks for watching English Tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.